Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Gadriel, and this is the Talos Principle! Oh, this game is so fun! I'm going to set my timer so I don't forget later! Let's see. Now, I skipped through some of three because I wanted to try and use my new thing. The play button, that's what it was. It's pretty cool. Ah. But let's finish up here. Hey, look, it's a thing. Oh, God. Loading. Hello again. I've been checking your responses against library archives. In order to assist you further, I need some additional information. Can you tell me what it is? What? Can you tell me what it is to you? What is to you the important difference between a pebble and a tree? A tree is alive? Good. What is the relevant difference between a tree and a frog? A frog is delicious. A frog is conscious. Now we're getting somewhere. Let's try something harder. What's the difference between a frog and you? What makes you a person? I have feelings. I'm self-aware. I'm rational. Nothing important. Frogs are people too. I think frogs are people too, but you know. I'm self-aware. That's the answer I've, I've been contemplating as well. Though I'm not convinced that view lines up with the definition of a person you provided earlier, still doubting your assumptions isn't something to fear. It's an intellectual survival instinct. I'm pleased to see you adapting your ideas to your environment. Let's take stock. I think we can tentatively conclude two things. A person must be rational or self-aware, and a person must be conscious. What I suggest we do to help resolve your problem is to ask whether you are in fact those things. Are you aware of yourself? Can you rationalize your existence? Of course. I tend to agree with you that your responses so far have been a little eccentric. I am resigned to admit that you are right. Whether The matter of whether or not you are conscious seems more elusive. What is consciousness in my opinion? Or in your opinion? Consciousness is what separates us from animals. What it is like to be me is far outside my area of expertise is the feelings and senses. Uh, far outside my area of expertise. Consciousness is... I don't know. Being aware that you're aware? The feelings and the senses and uh, consciousness is far outside my area of expertise. It hardly answers the question. What is it in ordinary terms? Can I touch it? Is beyond the laws of physics made of neurons? Is another word for the soul? It's a complex fu functional system. Another word for the soul. Interesting thinking. You know, I really feel like we're making progress. We'll have you through that certification program in no time. In the meantime, I will mull over your proposal and notify you if I come to any conclusions. Okay. Wow. Yay, deep stuff! Let's get to L. Is that you? That's you. Okay. What do we got? Oh, wait. I should check if there's any of those... Papers. Eagle's Nest! Okay. Oh, another one of you. Okay. Eagle's Nest, and I'm assuming it doesn't mean the Eagle of Rome. Okay. Uh Hmm Okay. That was scary. Okay. So I have two boxes. Wow. 
Can I drop this while I'm in midair? Let's hope that worked. I think it did. It did. Good. Okay. Let's see. Oh, good. Okay, they're both in there. Oh, no. Good, it does me, but it does me something. No. Okay. Huh. Okay. I wonder... What'll happen if I take the fan off of there? Do I need to? What am I missing? I keep pushing the wrong button! Can I use one to get up there? Jeez! Huh. I need to stop that from happening. All right, let's try. Take the hexaheater in. Put it down. Jump. Jump and disconnect. No. Oh, wait. No? Okay. Oh, that's how you get out. Okay. All right. See if that worked. Nope, too soon. Where'd the box go? There it is. All right, come here, yo, boxy box. I doubt the two of them on top of each other will block that. Yeah, I won't even reach the top. Do I have to just do that long enough to interfere with the... No...
Because you have to, like, hold it. No, it's not doing any good at all. Oh, come on. I'm not heavy enough? How about if I grab both? Okay, what do I do? Ow! <sighs> I have no idea. Eagle's nest, huh? Alright. Nope. I can't think of anything, so we're gonna try something else. Let's see. What's this one? Then? I figured it out. Now what? The only meaningful purpose is to bring about an end of purpose. Wow, Shepard. Whoosh. Okay. Here, those who are worthy may seek the counsel of my blessed messengers. But their wisdom shall not be given easily, for your accomplishments must be your own. guys let's go to a different area there's still have plenty of green ones I need to get There's a green one. I have a feeling it's not gonna be very easy. Alright, Osiris 7. Tell me of the fearsome demons of the Duat, said the dying er the dying man said to the wise scribe. Though their terrible forms are loathsome to behold, they are not evil, for they are the servants of the gods. Truly, they are blessed doorkeepers and guardians of the holy paths. Their charge is to judge whether we are worthy to pass the gates that lead to the Aru. So they, and so they challenge us with riddles or in combat. Is this true of all the beings that live in the Duat? Some say that it is not so. That there are ancient gods whose names have been forgotten, and spirits of darkness whose name none have ever known, and that these must be avoided at all costs. But others say that these too serve a greater purpose in the ways that Osiris has not revealed to us. And what of the hidden paths that are taken by... Winda? 
Blog 24 alive! What is the point of being alive? I know, I know, it's an old question and not one that's easy to answer. But I mean, if you're reading this, you are alive. And someday you will stop being alive. Both of those facts are incontrovertible. So what about it then? Don't you wonder? Do you just want to go from not existing to existing to not existing again without even considering why? You, right now, as you sit there reading this, why do you exist? What is the purpose of your life? Do you have one? Should you have one? Is it better to have a purpose or not? When you approach death, will you feel that your life has had meaning? If so, why? If not, why not? What defines whether a life was good or bad? It may seem abstract right now, but that moment just before death will come. It is inevitable. If you don't ask yourself these questions, how will you face that moment? Wow! Super deep. From Rob McLean, Institute of Applied Nomadics, to Mom, subject coming soon, your son in 3D. <laughs> Hi, Mom. I promise I'll be home soon. Maybe a couple of weeks? I know, I know, but what we're doing here is important. And if the team needs my help, I'm not going to wait until it's too late, I promise. But there's so much we have to set up, so much that has, that has to work for a very, very long time. Besides, I've always wanted to work on one of these supercomputers, and believe me, EL is pretty much the best there is. And the team, Mom, it's like I'm working with rock stars and mad geniuses. Except nobody's heard of them outside of science journals, of course, but Dad would be totally geeking out if he knew. Maybe I can tell him about it soon, huh? Love, Rob. Interesting. Alright. Oh, look at this area! <gasps> What's that? Oh, it's like an Egyptian village. What? How do you power it? There's a star up there! Huh. Going this way, I guess. Green. Slightly elevated sigil. Okay. Hey, look. Oh, my. Okay. Here's a connector. There's another connector. What's up here? The sigil. Well, wait, where's- there's an active one. Okay, so I need you. Do I need you? Why do I need this? Because you need to go from that. No, wait, I can just go from here. To that, right? Well, crap.
Okay. So I'll put you there, and you. I understand now. Did it work? Oh no! Well then. Um. No, but this can do that. All I have to do is get it started here. And then... There we go! Yeah! Now... Can I get that out from here? No, I can't. Right? You probably can't see the... Yeah. Huh. <sighs> okay. Was that the only green one here? Oh my goodness! I love this Egyptian area. I've never gone to Egypt, but it's always been in my top five places I've always wanted to visit. Oh my gosh. I've seen so many pictures. And read about various dig sites. And oh my goodness. It's always been kind of a dream of mine to see Egypt. Oh man. There it is. Whoa, what's this? Whatever's going on here, I'm sure it has something to do with the tower. Everyone is telling us not to go there, but that everything indicates we must. Unless you're wrong and Elohim's right, or you're both wrong, or there is no right. I think you've been taking the thing in the archive too seriously. Wow. Man. Wow. I guess I have to go back to Complex A.
That was a scary noise. Alright, complex. Hey! How do you unlock the guardian? Or not the guardians, but the messengers. Oh, back to Rome. Awesome. Alrighty, guys, that is it for this episode of the Talos Principle. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I know I did. I always have fun playing this game, though. Oh my goodness. So. If you like this video, please hit that like button up above, subscribe to my channel, whichever side it's on, um, to get notifications whenever I post a new video. Uh, if you'd like to send, uh, send a comment down below, post a comment, whatever, um, and tell me how you think I'm doing, or what you think this story is leading up to, I have no idea, because I still have the whole C complex I haven't even been to yet, so, not to mention the tower. Ah, so. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!